horse is looking good. Hey, you heard that whistle. Good I, job. I did hear the whistle. Hey, how's your season going on riding? It's going awesome. It's been a lot of fun hitting the show, seeing people. It's been great. And it's been time for another episode of Better Horses. I can't wait. Well, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Ed Adams. And I'm Susie Derushi. And in this episode, we're going to head down to Medicine Lodge, Kansas, where we're going to talk to Kerry Coon, and he's going to train us on the benefits of counterbending your horse. And then we're going to hop off our horses and trot on down to Bluffdale, Texas, where Craig Cameron will give us his philosophy on teaching. Well, Ernie Rodina is going to take us down to Junction City, Kansas, where we're going to have Karen Everhart walk us through the Rainbow Meadows Equine Rescue. That's important work that they do. And then we're going to head down to Warrensburg, Missouri, to Machine Shed Arena, where trainer Travis Kennedy is going to teach us how to reward the try. And I know our audience is biting at the bit to watch Ernie Rodina and Chef Mark Bergthal give us another entree of the hearty grub. They've been riding all day and they've worked up an appetite. He's been cooking on his big round grill. Those fajitas are going to be amazing. Well, if you love horses or even thinking about getting into horses, this is going to be the episode for you. Before you saddle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Kerry Coon. We ride CSI saddle pads. We've been riding them now for a little over 10 years. And what we've realized is the construction of that pad with their flex plate, what it does underneath our saddles is by far superior to any other pad on the on the market. We've tried every pad that, that man has made and we've we've seen the benefits of what these saddle pads can do. So even though we sell saddles, we've realized that our saddles are only as good as the saddle pad that's underneath them. I'm Kerry Coon and I ride CSI saddle pads. Hey folks, good to be with you today. You know, these are trying times that we live in right now. A whole lot of questions and, well, just so few answers to be found. Well, it's no different than in the Bible. There's a prophet uh, named Habakkuk. Oh, I can't wait to meet this character, but he had a whole lot of questions for God himself, and he found no answers. Here's what God said to him. He says, you know what, Habakkuk, if we could go down to Pearl's Cafe and have a cup of coffee, and if you asked me all your questions, and if I answered every one of them, you still would not understand. So just stand back and be utterly amazed at what I'm about to do. So it's our prayer here today at Better Horses that we can have that same attitude. Just stand back. Let God be God. Trust Him. Obey Him. Listen to Him. Follow Him. And let Him give us the answers to all those questions that we have. Hey, this is Steve Stafford. I'm the pastor at Risen Ranch Cowboy Church, a very proud member of the Better Horses family. Hey, Ernie, it's so great to have you with us here this morning. Thank you for letting us be a part of Better Horses TV. I got Colt out here. We're gonna work on a little exercise, but we're gonna show you how to use the gait in your arena to help pull on your horse's shoulder or your hip so you can build more control in certain maneuvers that you're asking for. Colt, what we're gonna ask for this morning is the counter bend. We're gonna use a figure eight to help these horses find this counter bend, but we're gonna use our gait down here in this south corner to help draw this horse's shoulder towards that gait, okay? So let me trot through this. Actually, I'll walk through here once, Colt, and show you just so we can get the timing of how that magnet's gonna pull on the shoulder. My figure eight's gonna be coming around right here to the left. Right as I get about right here, that, that gate is now pulling on my horse's left shoulder. So this would be an opportune time for me to tip this horse's nose to the right and ask that horse to counter bend to the left, okay? When I get here, as I come around this side of my figure eight, now the, the magnet is pulling on my horse's other shoulder. So I'm gonna bring the nose back to the left, come through the center, Head off over here to the other side of my figure eight. I get about right here. It's now pulling on my horse's right shoulder. So right in here, I'm going to tip that horse's nose to the left. Ask for that counter bend. I'm using my outside leg a little bit. Then again, right here, I'm going to bring the nose back because now the magnet's pulling on my left shoulder. Straighten my horse up, coming through the center of my figure eight. As I flow on through here, right about here, it's going to pull on my horse's left shoulder. There's my counter bend. We'll flow the nose back to the left, come through the center. Right about here, it's pulling on the right shoulder. Tip the nose left, help with my outside leg a little bit. Come on, Roni, let's stay at a trot. 
And again, one, one more time here, Colt, you see what I'm doing? You see how I'm setting that up where the timing of that magnet is pulling on that horse's shoulder to help that horse find that counter bend? Right there, that right shoulder is gonna wanna drift towards that gate, so you use that to help get yourself in position and help that horse find that counter bend, okay? As you come through the center here, you can straighten your horse back up. Go ahead and trot on through there. If you understand what I'm talking about, you can go ahead on and trot on through there. We'll watch Colt as he goes through. So right there, he's got that magnet pulling on that horse's left shoulder, pulling this way. Now he held it all the way through that circle. I'm gonna talk to him over here. It's pulling on that horse's right shoulder. Right about there, you need to switch. Good job, because now it's pulling on the left shoulder. We're not gonna ask these horses to counterbend away from the gate. We're only asking them to counterbend towards the gate because we're trying to figure out how to use that magnet instead of fussing and complaining that that gate keeps pulling on our horses. We want these horses better at this counterbend anyway. So we're just gonna set this figure eight up. Great job right there, Colt. Where the timing of us asking for that counterbend, watch him right here, right there. He picks that right shoulder up, beautiful. And then right there he switches because that horse was fixing to switch sides. That magnet was gonna be on the other side. And right here, he's asking for that counter bend to his right. And then he switches back right there. So we'll just flow around here in this figure eight, <clears throat> letting these horses figure out how to move away from our leg where we can pick that shoulder up. And all the while, we know that gate down there is gonna pull on these horses' shoulders. We know it's gonna draw their attention. We're just figuring out how to use it to our advantage so we don't have to fuss about it and complain about it while we're out here working these horses. That looks really good, Colt. How's that feel? Good. When you come around to the center, you can stop right there in the center. So Ernie, I hope this little exercise is something that, is, that your viewers can put into practice this idea of not complaining about your gait, just come up with a drill, an exercise, where you're asking for something specific. And if it's a turn, set that turn up or that counter bend like we were in that figure eight to where that gait or that magnet is drawn on that horse's shoulder to help him through that counter bend, to help him through that turn. Then you don't have to use your outside leg as much and you don't have to kick as much. You don't have to pull as hard. Everything just kind of flows towards that gait. Hey Colt, that was a great job. Thank you so much, Ernie, for letting us be a part of Better Horses TV. And if your viewers would like to find out more about what we do, if they'd like to sign up for one of our clinics somewhere, or even take a look at our horses for sale, they can go to carrycoon.com. Stay tuned. We'll be right back right after these messages. No matter what discipline of riding you do, training, showing, and everyday stress is hard on your horse's legs. Decra Veterinary Products is a leading lameness company that brought you Osphos. Osphos is a quadrinate injection, an intramuscular bisphosphony to help control the clinical signs of navicular syndrome in horses four years and older. Ask your veterinarian if Osphos is right for your horse. Decra Veterinary Products is a proud sponsor of the American. What do you get when you bring together one of the biggest names in veterinary medicine? with one of the most caring and committed teams of horse health experts in the industry, you get a vaccine portfolio known for its quality and safety. A pharmaceutical line you can rely on to help manage pain and support performance. You get the products, programs, and people of Merck Animal Health. It's time to go with United Mosquito and Fly Control's premier fly system for fly control in your barn. Providing relief for horses from the stress of fighting flies. It also makes a barn more pleasant for everyone in the barn. Easy, effective, and safe. With United Mosquito and Fly Control, we provide a full service. You as the barn owner don't have to do anything. We go everywhere and take care of everything with our friendly, fast service. Call today at 913-558-3814 or email paul at unitedmosquito.com.
Well, that's kind of a tough question, but you know, I think about this kind of stuff a lot. I guess I think about it all the time, you know. But to me, teaching is the art of communication. In other words, how well can you get people to understand what you're trying to show them? How well can you get the horse to understand what it is that you're trying to show them? Because the people nor the horses came in the world knowing uh, how to do horses and horsemanship. So it's not so much a teaching process as it is a learning process. And learning is just a response from a demand to grow. In other words, you know, do something you've never done before. That's the hard part about learning. You don't know how to do it. So if I can present it in, uh, that, in a way that it's simple for them, in other words, make the thing that I want them to do be the easiest thing they can do, not the hardest thing they can do. And so I got to do that in a very positive way. You know, correction is good, encouragement is better. So I'm always encouraging at the same time that I'm teaching or critiquing. So I hope I'm inspiring people like that. Remember, inspired comes from the inside. So I'm working from the inside of me to the inside of that person or the inside of that horse and trying to keep that good feeling, that positive feeling in uh, horses and the students. And if we can do that, then we're gonna be having fun as we learn. And when we're having fun, shoot, I'll tell you what, it becomes easy to learn. The following closed caption has been brought to you by Line of Weaver Construction, a leader in quality construction. Line of Weaver Construction is a family owned and operated and has been serving the Kansas City area since 1975. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina and welcome to Better Horses TV. I'm here with Karen Everhart here at the uh, Rainbow Meadows Equine Therapy. Just equine a Rescue. A rescue. Yes. And I'm out here with her and this is just a beautiful place out by Junction City, Kansas. Correct. And uh, it doesn't get, it's worth the drive just to come out here and be in the hey. Flint Hills. This is big sky country, isn't it? It is. You can just stand and see forever. Just really love your, you got a special type of therapy deal. Uh, this is on hands therapy with horses. This is a dream of yours that you put together. 39 horses here and you're going to get how many more? We've got 15 more coming in. Actually, we got, we got one coming today and then we've got another 15. So we actually have 16 intakes getting ready to happen over the next couple of weeks. So we have spent 15 years rescuing horses and we have helped hundreds and hundreds of horses across this area. What we want to do now is take it to the next level because we are so close to the post and because we have a history with military life that we want to make an opportunity present and available for people to interact with the horses that have been rescued from very difficult circumstances. That is usually referred to as equine assisted psychotherapy. Generally does not involve horseback riding like therapeutic riding is for the disabled. This is more to help people deal with anxiety and depression and you know one of the catchwords now is post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. These horses have come from very difficult circumstances for the most part and we have the opportunity to give them a chance to interact with someone who's working with their own anxiety. It's an amazing type of interaction that can occur. If there, you got folks out there that are watching this show right now, how can they find out more about uh, your your organization, Rainbow Meadows Equine Rescue and Therapy? So Rainbow Meadows Equine Rescue, again, right now is focused predominantly on the rescue of horses, and we have a website, rainbowmeadowsranch.com. So they can go there, they can go to Facebook, it's Facebook forward slash Rainbow Meadows, and they can see an awful lot about what we do. Our therapy program, unfortunately, has been been curtailed as a result of COVID and so first and foremost we have to do a capital campaign to be able to construct an indoor arena 
because most people aren't going to be as excited about being out in August, typical August weather or typical January weather in Kansas unless they've got some shelter. So our first goal is going to have to do that capital campaign. As a 501c3, we must be supported by donations. So it'll be a matter of reaching out to the community and saying, would you like to help us build this arena so that then hopefully by spring or fall of 2021 and no COVID, we'll be able to get our program rolling. Watch out what you're doing a super job because just a lot of times people just being around a horse helps these folks with PTSD and things from that standpoint. And you have put the, you know, hit the nail on the head. That's exactly what we're looking for, are people to understand that just being in the presence of a horse, that creates an incredible calm. And so that's what we want to tap into and give them an opportunity to experience. If anybody wants to donate, they can just go to our website, rainbowmeadowsranch.com, and our donation button is right there, and they can help us continue to do the work that we do. First class, and you got to visit this place because it's just beautiful out here. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank Wonderful. you. You care about your animals and feeding them the best. And that's where Purina's local Kansas City dealers step in, providing you experience, knowledge, service, and advice. Purina feed dealers are people who believe in community involvement and who believe in you. They have a passion for the feed industry and are committed to helping customers unlock the potential of every animal. If you are looking for a trusted source for your animals, look no further than your local Purina feed dealer, your partner in animal care. In a natural, free-roaming situation, horses graze nearly constantly throughout the day and night. When feeding horses in stables, it's ideal to try to mimic this feeding behavior. Horses in stabled conditions should be fed their hay so they can pick at it continuously between feedings. Visit our website at stanleeforage.com under Nutrition, then Nutritional Resources to help transition your horse from winter to spring in the coming weeks. Hi, I'm Donna. This is Ringo. We're with CSI Saddle Pads. I'd like to invite you to ride our new revolutionary Flex Flight Saddle Pad. We offer a 30-day money-back ride it, get it dirty guarantee. And the best part of the pad is it's 100% American made with American parts by American hands. We really like them. They've contoured the horse's back, help your saddle feel real good, and they'll work on a little flatter withered horse or on a high withered horse, either one we can make them fit. And, and uh, the horse is really comfortable under them. For more information, go to CSIPads.com. Hi, I'm Travis Kennedy from Kennedy Quarter Horses. Today's tip of the day is to reward the try. This weekend we were working a few cattle and had a little bit of roping clinic going on and we had some green riders and some green horses. Some of the activities we were doing were kind of new and stressful to some of these new horses and they were really getting bothered. A thing to remember when you're riding a greener horse and putting him in situations that he might not be used to is to reward the try if he puts out effort. If we fail to reward that try and never tell him good job or good effort, it's easy for those young horses to get really frustrated and bothered and then they get start things start going downhill so if we can remember when that horse puts out a big effort even though the end result might not be what we wanted we can really reward him and tell him good job and that will build his confidence to where he'll seek to do the better job next time it's just invaluable piece of the equipment to put in put that on there and then you just switch hands and then it's the healer's or the header's responsibility to take that rope from you. You'll see guys all the time, they'll try to set that rope for the header. It's not their job. Their job is, I mean, because I want to stay safe. I'm going to keep the power away from that cow and the header's going to take the rope from me and then they'll just cross just like that. 
So it's back to working smarter and not harder. See like Chad's Honda's just about right. See how that's a little bit of a bite in it? It'll, it knocks down the chance of slipping the foot. So, you get another one? So then when you're ready to dump them, we'll look at each other, and if we're both good to go, then we'll nod, and then you just pitch a bunch of slack, and they just walk away. And that's real good. You know you've handled them real nice when they just walk away. When they get up, and, and of course some of them want to fight just naturally, but when they get up and they're all stressed out or they're wobbly, or they're kind of limping on one leg, I mean, you could have handled them better. You know, If they just get up and walk away, it's like, that's perfect. I'm Travis Kennedy from Kennedy Quarter Horses. Thanks for watching Better Horses TV. Yeah, I know people really appreciate to see me. I tell everybody how you're involved with the horses. We've got about eight of them out here. And uh, I want to just thank you for all you do for the Better Horses TV show. Well, I sure enjoy doing it. And thanks for letting me be a part of Better Horses. No problem. Mark, what a beautiful evening out here at your ranch, and we got a tremendous hardy grub we got lined out and everything. Always look forward to it, and this is a special one. If you like Mexican food, this is going to be unbelievable. Well, what happened? We was going to grill fish, but I was messing around in the freezer and found this beautiful skirt steak, and so we decided to do fajitas <laughs> instead of having fish, so well, you can't beat that. It looks really good. Fresh corn on the cob and got, everything got else. Got some corn on the cob already grilling. Been marinating in this flank steak or skirt steak for a couple hours now. We're going to put together some Arkansas pico de gallo. It's a little different than Mexican pico de gallo. One thing, I don't like uh, cilantro. It tastes like soap I'm to right me. there with you. So we're going to use a little parsley and some other herbs in it, and I'll tell you how it goes as we go. Okay, here's the beautiful skirt steak, and we marinated it in some soy sauce and some herbs, some of my chipotle sauce, garlic powder, no, onion powder, and some garlic chives. We've got the hottest place on the grill right there. We're going to get him going. And while we get, now we're going to wait just a little bit to start the veggies. Here goes the Arkansas pico de gallo. Real simple. Got a cup of red onions, some green peppers, cucumbers, real important. Se De-seed them. They can't have seeds in them or you won't like it. Always got to put a little jalapeno pepper and everything, so there that goes. And tomatoes. This is a great way to get rid of all your garden tomatoes. Dump them in there. And this one, since I don't like cilantro, we got some fresh parsley and some basil. And that goes in there. You need just a little bit of sugar. Now a little bit of salt, uh, quite a little bit of salt. Mexican Worcester sauce. Just a little bit of vinegar. And then lots of pepper. Now we'll stir that all up and when that corn gets roasted in a minute, I'm going to shave some of it off and it'll go in here too. This stuff needs to be served jet cold or, or, or it won't be good. So we get this mixed up, gonna put it in the fridge. I think the longer in the steak's gonna take, these are tomatillas, we're gonna just dump them on the grill. Two kinds of peppers, and some red onions. I'm gonna spray them with a little uh, butter here in a minute. Got some pinto beans we're gonna warm up. In Arkansas, you eat the pico de gallo on black-eyed peas, but we're gonna eat them on Pino beans. Mark, this is, could not be a better night for this. What an unbelievable summer fiesta here at your ranch with these fajitas. Knocked it out of the park. It turned out pretty good. This is one of the three days in Kansas you get to be outside in August, I really guarantee good. you. Corn on the cob from your from your uh, garden and everything. Yeah, and then tomatoes to make that pico de gallo out of them. Didn't talk about the guacamole we made. And the guacamole use it like butter under the fajitas and the flanks or the shirt steak really turned out good let's see connie made this mountain dew cake mountain dew cake got pecans <laughs> and everything in there it's going to be great we got some ice cream sit outside on a 
August evening. It doesn't get much better than that. No, nope, it's, it's pretty good eat. Well, thanks for all you bring to the Hardy Grub segment. And I uh, always look forward to this and just, just a great deal. And your grill. How about your grill? You <laughs> customize the grill. You can get those from Brummel Farm Service. We remodeled it a little bit because the wind is blowing through it and blowing all the heat away from it. So I shrunk it down and made it fall down inside. So it worked really good it's now. It's really good. Well, folks, we're glad you joined us on the Hardy Grub. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, don't touch that dial. We've got more Better Horses TV right after this message from our sponsors. John Deere is known for quality equipment. This quality has created a perception that John Deere is more expensive than other brands. But high quality doesn't mean high price. The truth from buyers in our area is customers who have purchased a John Deere compact utility tractor saved more than $2,000 dare to compare us before buying. You and your wallet will be surprised. Nothing runs as long as a deer, and we'll prove it with our exclusive 10-year warranty. Visit heritagetractor.com slash compare to learn more. It's time to go with United Mosquito and Fly Control's premier fly system for fly control in your barn. Providing relief for horses from the stress of fighting flies. And also makes a barn more pleasant for everyone in the barn. Easy, effective, and safe. With United Mosquito and Fly Control, we provide a full service. You as the barn owner don't have to do anything. We go everywhere and take care of everything with our friendly, fast service. Call today at 913-558-3814 or email paul at unitedmosquito.com. How's your production on pasture? Our profits down? Our weight gains down? What are you going to do about it? Do something cost effective. Do something that will make a difference. To add the first and proven leader in feed through horn fly control to your cattle rations, ask for it by name, Altacid IGR. Hey, thank you for watching Better Horses. If you missed any of our television shows, you can check us out at betterhorses.com and see all of our episodes. And if you want more Better Horses Radio, go to the app and type in Better Horses and you give us all you want. And take a look at our newspaper coming out five times a year on the same website. You're going to love us.